Hi, this is a demo of what you can do with KML Multi-Tool. So this tool used to be four separate tools and now it's been rolled into one. So what you can do is you can convert between GPX and KML, create a grid that overlays on Google Earth, create a smoothed KML track log, or you can merge the waypoints out of multiple KML files into a single KML file. So if, we want, if we've got a GPX file and we want to convert that into KML, then we can just on that button, choose the GPX file, and then say convert. We choose to output to KML file, and it creates a new KML file, and asks us if we'd like to open it in Google Earth. If we say yes, then there's our converted KML file. So it was a GPX, now it's KML. Right. So this tool also goes the other way. If we choose to, we can convert a KML to a GPX. Okay. So the smooth tool allows us to take a KML file, such as the one we just created, and apply a smoothing filter along it. So often a GPS track log is a bit rugged. Uh, jagged because of the way GPS recording is um, a little bit inaccurate so and jumps around a bit. So what we can do is we can smooth the um, track log to make it a bit more presentable. So you can choose a filter width. So this has to be an odd number. Um, five is the default, so let's give that a try. What this does is applies a filter um, between um, adjacent sets of nodes in the track log. So in this case, we're, we're applying a filter across five adjacent nodes at a time. Okay, so we press smooth, creates a smoothed output. Also asks us if we want to open in Google Earth, and we say yes. Okay, so now we've got the um, previous one, so the, the unsmoothed one and the smoothed one. So if we just zoom in, so we'll turn off the smoothed one for now. We'll zoom in and we'll see this is the original track log file. I think this was recorded at a track log spacing of 25 meters, so there's quite long um, segments. Now, if we apply a smoothing to it, so like we just did, we'll turn that on. And as you can see, it's a, um, if we compare the two, it's taken a lot of the jaggedness out and made a nice, a relatively nice smooth um, track log for us there. Particularly around here where it's going around the corner, it's just smooth that. Um, all down. Okay, so that's those two tools. Now create KML grid. So what you can do with this um, is if you want to create a grid, um, for example, um, you're searching a particular area and you want to have um, so many cells in your search area, Just try small area. Um, so, so make it 10 rows by 10 columns. Okay, so we've set up the lower left and the top right um, lat long coordinates. And then we can just press create grid and we've told it how many rows and columns we want to create. So then we press create grid. The default output is just grid.kml. And ask us if we want to open that in Google Earth. And we do. So what it's created is this 10 by 10 grid with the bottom corner where we specified. I'm sorry, I can't quite see that. Bottom corner where we specified minus 33, 151, and the top corner should be at minus 32.5, 151.5. So there you go. Um, Okay, so what you can also do is you can create polygons for each grid cell. So that was just um, polylines. If we create polygons, then they're given a given a slight shading so we can see where the polygons are. Now, if we expand the tree here, um, we 
we can turn on and off individual polygons. So for example, if, if you say, oh, you've searched that area, just turn that off. Or, you know, you visited that area. So that's what the Create Grid option does. It does a few more things as well. You can create an, a circle if you choose. So we create a circle with a radius of a thousand meters centered at uh, those coordinates. So let's just try that. We create a filled circle. And those coordinates here, that should correspond to the bottom left corner of our grid actually. Yep. So that's created a, a filled circle. Um, sometimes useful if you've got, for example, if you've got a, a waypoint, you know, in the center there, I could copy those coordinates for the waypoint and um, could create a, a filled circle around it. So also, if you want to generate an arc, you can generate an arc with a start angle of say minus 90 degrees to 90 degrees. So if you do that, let me just turn off the circle. So it's created an arc starting at minus 90 to 90. Um, so we do it minus 45 to 75, for example, we can create an arc, another arc with a different, there we go, minus 45 to 175. So that's what those options do. Okay, there's a couple of other options here. Don't need to worry about these. These are for use with handy GPS. So that's basically what that tool does. So finally here we have a merge tool. So this um, allows you to merge the waypoints from multiple KML files. So the use for this is if you've um, recorded lots of interest points of interest when you've been on various bushwalks or hikes, you can combine them into a single file so that you can easily view them together. So what it does when you bring it up is it lets you browse to a folder. So in this case, I'm going to my demo folder and search for a file type. So I'm going to search for all the KML files. You can actually even search the subfolders if you choose. And it finds all the KML files in there. Now what I want to do is I just want to select a couple those to merge. So I'm only really interested in these two at this time. So I want to merge those Little Beach and Lobster Beach into a new merged KML file. So it's been created. Now this tool doesn't actually automatically open the output, so I'll just have to um, bring up the demo folder and just double click on the output. Okay, so that's just, um, sorry, still got the original files loaded. Yep. Okay, so all that's done, I probably should turn that off, turn the merged off for a minute, turn everything off, and I'll just load the original files so we can see what they look like. So there's that one. Got some waypoints and track logs down there. And there was this one. Got some waypoints and track logs over here. Okay, so if we turn those off and we just turn on the merge one. So all it's done with the merge is it's just um, merged the waypoints. It hasn't merged the track logs. The track logs have been um, disregarded out of that in the merged file. So we're just left with our points of interest in that merged file. So you could potentially merge hundreds of these um, input files um, and it'll get all your points of interest together. So that's KML Multitool. It does a number of things and in the future maybe more things will be added, but for now this is the this is what it's capable of. Thanks for watching.